All right, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State College, and you're tuning in for the final exam review series for Intermediate Algebra. This is question number 13, lucky 13, and it looks like a doozy, so let's not waste any time. We'll get right into it. All right, the directions for number 13 are to perform the indicated operation and express in lowest terms. So number 13, and they give me k squared plus 7k plus 10 over k squared plus 12k plus 35 times k squared plus 7k over k squared minus 3k minus 10. All right, we'll set that aside and work on what they've given us. Now, at first glance, this definitely seems like a complicated problem, but let's go ahead and break it down into steps, and I think by the end, you'll see that it's really not as daunting as it might first appear. And the first thing that I would recommend to simplifying this whole uh, uh, problem would be to treat each in every one of these trinomials and binomials as a second uh, a separate problem so each numerator each denominator just focus on one at a time so you're not overwhelmed so let's go ahead and factor each one of these and when I look at the numerator for my first fraction k squared plus 7k plus 10 I'm gonna look for factors of 10 that add to give me a positive 7. Well, that's going to be k plus 5 and k plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 times 2 is 10, so that checks out. And in my denominator, I'm going to be looking for factors of 35 that add to give me a positive 12. So that's going to be k plus 7 and then k plus 5. Uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. 7 times 5 is 35, so that checks out. All right, now let's go ahead and look at my binomial here in the second uh, numerator. Well, the only thing they have in common is a k, so let's go ahead and pull out a k, and when we do that, we're left with k plus 7. And then in the denominator, I'm looking for factors of 10 that subtract to give me a negative 3. Well, again, I think that's going to be a k plus 2 and a k minus 5. And now that each of my numerators and each of my denominators have been factored, now comes the fun part, and I can start canceling things out. And remember, I can cancel up and down or diagonally. So up and down or diagonally. But I cannot cancel from left to right or right to left. That I cannot do. All right, so I have a k plus 5 up here, and I have a k plus 5 in the bottom. So these go away. I have a k plus 2 and a k plus 2, and that goes away. I have a k plus 7 and a k plus 7, and that goes away. And then it looks like that is all I can cancel out. And so in my numerator, I'm just left with a k. And in my denominator, I'm just left with a k minus 5. And that is it. This cannot be simplified any further. And so the final answer is just k over k minus 5. So hopefully you can see that that wasn't really as trying as, as it might have appeared at first. So long as you take it step by step, treat each of your numerators and denominators like a separate problem, focus one at a time, and just factor each one. And after you factored, then comes the fun part, and just cancel out wherever you can. Remember, you can only cancel up and down 
or diagonally. Do not cancel straight across. All right, well that was number 13, lucky 13, and it was, it was pretty lucky, right? It was an easy one. Let's go ahead and move on to number 14 where I hope to see you. Again, this is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State. Thanks for watching.